completely to Christ. Following, as we might say, in the tracks of a rabbit named Mary. Let's stand now and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, Father and Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally God of the Father, God of God, light and light, true God and true God, be God and not man. Of one being with the Father, through him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious pilot. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is sitting at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, for the Father and the Son and his voice were glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord of God.
it's uh, wonderful to, uh, to see you. I was telling uh, this morning, I was telling uh, in the sacristy, I was telling Gordon and Carolyn, we had 33 at the evening service this Christmas uh, Eve, uh, and, and that was exactly how many reservations we, we had given out, and everybody showed up despite the weather. And, uh, if last year we had had 33 in church on Christmas Eve, I would have been despondent. But I was overjoyed. It was like the place was packed. Uh, and I know many of you, I'm looking at the camera for the, I'm not just looking at Les. Uh, many of you uh, at home were uh, a part of this as well. So and thank you to Les for your, uh, making that happen. Uh, but it was it was a great celebration. All three services. I think we had uh, a little over sixty at all. We put them all together again. About half of what, um, a third of what we might have on our best Christmas Eve. But it was just like it was packed. So that was great. I hope you have are having a wonderful Christmas. It's still Christmas. So Merry Christmas. And uh, uh, we'll continue next week. Our Magi will be arriving uh, for Epiphany. Uh, the only announcement I really have is that, that I can think of, is uh, this week the office is closed tomorrow and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, uh, Thursday and Friday. So uh, we will be here Tuesday and Wednesday. If you need me, you can call me on my cell. Uh, if you don't have my cell phone number, by the way, I'm happy to get that to you. Uh, we try to publish it as often as we can so that you have it. But if you don't have it, let me know. Are there other announcements? Ascribe to the Lord the honor to his name, bring offerings and come into his courts.
in your word, spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error and the truth out of sin and righteousness, out of death and the life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread. We pray, you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection unto your Christ. Bring us to that heavenly country where the St. Mark and all your saints have been entered the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O Father and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. Do not have their heart by faith. Thanksgiving.
and for our sharing us with these holy mysteries, that we are the living members of the body of your Son, and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love, serve, and you, and faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honored and glory, now and forever. Amen. The blessing of God, Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you this Christmas season and always. Amen. <laughs>